Hello everyone and welcome back to How to Travel. For coffee lovers, the day doesn't just begin with a good hot cup of coffee. It seems almost impossible without it. We've rounded up some of our favorite ways to brew coffee while traveling. Some of these options are also great for people who aren't working from home, since office kitchens are likely closed. Without waiting any longer, let's begin with today's list. AeroPress Go Portable Coffee Maker. The AeroPress is one of the most popular coffee brewers on the market for a reason. It makes a damn fine cup of coffee. The company recently added the AeroPass Go to its lineup, which produces the same great results but in a smaller, travel-friendly package. The Go is barely bigger than a coffee mug, incredibly lightweight, and entirely self-contained. All you need to do is add coffee. Part of the reason for the AeroPress's success is that the brewing method is infinitely customizable to your tastes. Take the three ingredients, coffee, water, and pressure, and start experimenting until you find what suits your taste. There's no wrong way to brew with an AeroPass. What we do suggest is starting with the method that the company addresses and endorses, which you'll find included on the box. But once you've mastered it there, there are plenty of other ways to do it. Caflano Classic. The Caflano Classic is everything you need to brew in a single compact, relatively lightweight package. It combines a hand mill grinder, drip kettle, and metal pour over filter, as well as an insulated mug and a single tumbler shaped package. If you can grind your beans, brew and drink your coffee without needing anything but a way to boil water, what else could you need? The resulting brew is some of the best pour over coffee. Getting the right grind is key, but the adjustable grinder allows you to experiment until you find something you enjoy. If even the compact design of the classic is too much, just bring your pour over filter. It's made of stiff plastic and metal and has so far held up well on my carry on bag. Delta Coffee Press. The Delta Coffee Press bears some resemblance to the AeroPass, but it adds something to the equation pressure. The Delta Pass is not an espresso maker, but it does brew stronger than the AeroPress. One thing we like better with the Delta is the ability to add more water without starting a new brew, something that's not possible with the AeroPass. Delta suggests starting with the medium to fine grind, but you can get enjoyable results even with a fine espresso grind. This is the best part of the Delta. It offers wide variety of brewing possibilities, making it easier to tailor the results to your individual tastes. Espro Ultralight Coffee Press. The Espro Ultralight Press is the simplest and lightest French press. It also produces the least amount of sediment, a common problem in French press brewing that leaves a gritty mouthfeel every time you drink. This didn't happen with the Ultralight Press. It's double whaled and vacuum insulated, which means it will keep your hot coffee hot and iced coffee cold, about three hours on hot and five on cold in my testing. One of the best parts of the Espro is that with a quick rinse, it can double as a water bottle when you're done with your coffee. Palm Press Coffee Press. The Palm Press is a press to brew solution that packs up small and is lightweight as well. One of the nice things about it is there's nothing extra needed. No filters and no cleaning brushes. It's simple to brew and once you get the ground dialed in, a finer ground works best, but it's worth experimenting. The result is a clean, bright flavor with almost no bitterness. This was especially true with medium roasts, which we found to be the best choice for the palm press. It does require pressure, so you'll need a sturdy mug. Flimsy hotel cups won't work. Planetary Design Overlander French Press. Planetary Design appears to have run out of vowels, but that's okay because it managed to turn out the best French press. Overlander French Press is solid, if a bit heavy, and unlike every other French press out there, it's super easy to clean. Unscrew the bottom and dump the grounds in the compost, rinse, and you're done. As with other planetary design presses, the Overlander features the brew stop filter system. It consists of an extra fine screen and silicone ring that creates a tight seal against the side of the mug to prevent grounds from escaping into your coffee. That brings us to the end of today's video. Which one did you like the most? Honestly, I can't really decide. All these coffee mugs and coffee presses are way too good. I would say experiment, find which one works best for you. But if you can't find one, take a look in the comments. Maybe there are people down there who has one of these and they suggest it. But that's it for now. Let us know and be sure to leave a like to the video, subscribe, click the bell icon, and if you enjoyed it, have a great day and we will see you guys in the next one.